We're traveling all over Connecticut. Now we're in the scenic and historic town of West Cornwall in Northwest Connecticut, almost on the New York line, literally on the Sharon Town line. Housatonic River's behind us, beautiful covered bridge, gorgeous area, but we've come here to eat and sample at a fantastic place that we've heard so much about. It's called Hurley's Farmhouse Cafe. Folks, don't you want this? Look at this. This is really, really amazing. We wanted people to feel like they were coming in and having dinner with us. Wow, look at all this incredible food. It looks so fresh too, that's what I like. Food is, is meet and beat their expectation just about every time, so we're really excited about that. Everybody has told us this is a place that's so warm and welcoming and comfortable, and the food is gourmet style, and it's just a home run. So, we've gotta to come to West Cornwall. We're here today, we're gonna to share, we're gonna celebrate, and we're gonna enjoy. Hi Jim, welcome to Pearly's Farmhouse Cafe. I'm Sean Elmer. Great to meet you, Sean. I've heard so much about this fantastic place. I hear you're gonna make something special for us because everything smells really good. But there's something signature you're gonna make right now. What I'm gonna it? make our mushroom omelet. It has a uh, whole grain mustard cream sauce over the top of it and a little bit of Swiss cheese. Oh my yes. God. <laughs> now I'm gonna stop talking so you can get going because that means I get to eat it quicker, right? Yes, yes. All right. Thank you so much. Let's watch you make it. So this is the honey wheat bread. We bake fresh just about every morning. We slice it to order. The mustard cream sauce. And just a little whole grain mustard. So we always use two extra large eggs that are sourced out of McClinsky. A little salt and pepper. We scramble them up and we scramble them for each order. The cream's starting to reduce down nicely. Now we're gonna add our eggs to the grill. And add a little bit of spinach. A little fresh baby spinach. A little butter over the top of that. And my favorite is a little salt and pepper. Gonna mix it up just a little bit. Gonna add that right in. Cheese, some fresh home fries. And over the top, we're gonna add our mustard cream sauce to it. And then we're just gonna add that fresh baked honey wheat toast right on top. Folks, don't you want this? Look at this. This is really, really amazing. It's fantastic. Fantastic job. Thank you so much, Jim. Mm. Thank you. Gotta come here to West Cornwall and get it. We'll talk about the food in just a minute, and I'll, of course, do what I love to do on the show and sample, but first I wanna know about um, your vision. What was the vision you had for this restaurant? When we created it, we really wanted to extend our kitchen table. We wanted people to feel like they were coming in and having dinner with us. Even if we're not sitting down at the moment, we wanted that comfort, you know, to come in, relax, be a part of the community. So when you designed the menu, what were you looking to do? Did you want to bring food that was comfort food? Did you want to bring food that was a little more gourmet? things that were different that people don't find everywhere else? What was the vision for the menu? Well, really, we wanted to be something different. Um, a destination really is, is the ultimate goal. Um, we use fresh ingredients. We wanted to do a different combination on things. Uh, we started with the mushroom omelet, and then you don't find a mustard cream sauce on a mushroom omelet. Let's talk about the food. How about this one here? This is our green monster. Um, the green monster? It's the green monster. I, I designed it when I was just south of Boston and Brain tree, and it's our it's a signature burger with a roasted garlic aioli. It has jalapenos, avocados, burger cooked to the way you like it, seasoned, and then it's topped with bacon. Now, how can you possibly go wrong? And it's an applewood smoked bacon. And this one is this like a? It looks like a pulled pork, right? That is an apple apple flavored apple brandy pulled pork with a uh, chipotle aioli with. Buried underneath of it is actually a honey-kissed apple coleslaw, all made in-house. Um, what a fun <laughs> special <laughs> that is. What have customers been saying since they've been coming in? I mean, we see families here, we see kids, we see all different generations, we see couples and business people. What are they saying about the restaurant as they're dining? We uh, greatly value our customers' feedback. 
we actually have little comment cards that we get um, and we read them all and review them all, have discussions at home based on um, modifications or um, changes we want to make and implement them accordingly. Um, we have kind of different populations that we serve, both local and then, like as you said, the New York population, and we like to take into account all of them. What would you say if people are watching this and they haven't been here before? Maybe they're going to tour the area. It's such a beautiful, picturesque area here in Northwest Connecticut. Perhaps maybe they're coming up from New York. What would you say to welcome them to the restaurant? Come down, have a meal with Pearly. <laughs> Everybody knows Pearly. Thanks again. Boy, was that delicious. That was fantastic. You know when you saw me have that mushroom omelet? That was to die for. And the pulled pork and that French toast with the brie. Oh, I know, I could talk for hours about it. But that's my perspective. My perspective is thumbs up. It is delicious. But Connecticut, what is your perspective? Come here to West Cornwall to find out. Come to Pearly's Farmhouse Cafe. It's outstanding. You're going to love it.